Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Trayvon's World. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve the 3x3 Rubik's Cube with the basic method. So usually in the basic method, I mean, the well, usually people solve it using the daisy, but we're not going to use the daisy. We're just going to get straight to the white. Okay, so um, the first step in the beginner's method is to do the whole entire white. And to do that, we're going to need to do the white cross first. So, and how we're going to do that is first we're going to look in the bottom row here for any middle pieces, which has a color and white. So these are called middle pieces. These are called corner pieces, and these are called tender pieces. So, uh, okay, I have a middle piece, um, yeah, right there. And this has a green on top, so we're gonna put this to the green center. Then we're gonna turn it two times so that it's at the top. Make sure it's aligned and it's not like this, and it's like in the green center. Then, um, there's actually three possible cases which you'll get. The first case would be it being proper. The second piece, the ca case would be upside down. So when it's upside down, what you would want to do is you would first push this away. Then you'll bring the middle row down with the white center. Then you're going to put it back and then put it back up just like that. So you're gonna do that to all of them. And the third possible case is having it in the middle here on the second row, like this. What, uh, the fastest and easiest method to do it is turning this like that to the um, uh, right, then turning it to its center, which is the blue center, and then turning it all the way back up. And yeah, that's the third possible case. So like that, you got to do all of them and you'll have the white cross on the top. So um, it must be aligned. Like, see, this is not aligned. You got to make sure that they're in with uh, match with their center pieces. So now we're going to get to the second step of doing the first part. I mean, the second part of doing the first step, which is the corners. All right, so let's start the second part of the first step. To do that, we have to find corner pieces. So here's a corner piece and it has a white. Now we have to align this. So this has a orange and green. So we're gonna find those. Okay, so here's orange and green. And this one, uh, whatever color's on the bottom, and that's only when the white's on the top facing you, whatever color's on the bottom is the, col is the color you're gonna be facing. Then it's on this side, so you're gonna turn it like this. But if this was on this side, we're gonna turn it like that. So for, we're gonna first turn it like this, then we're gonna put this row down, then we're gonna put this here and put it back up. So now it's in the proper place and it's aligned with the white, uh, the orange, and the green. You're gonna do that to all of them. So here's another one. It has a red on the bottom. So we're gonna face the red. Then it's on this side, so we're gonna put it, put it away, but that way. And then you're gonna put it down. You're gonna put this here, and you're gonna put it back up. So now it's aligned with all of the other colors. And you're gonna do that with all of them. But for instance, if it's like this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the row down you're gonna put this like this, one, two. So it's in the bottom right there. Then you're gonna put this row back up. You're gonna put this row this way. Put this row down, this row back, and this row up. So it may not, uh, when you turn it all the way to the bottom, it may not come perfectly at once. You might have to do it again and again. So yeah, um, like this for instance, we gotta put it like that, put this down, put it here. Put it like this. And guys, remember, it was on this side. That's why I turned it like this, so that you don't get confused. So that's how you do the first step. Okay, now let's start the second step in the beginner's method, which is the second layer. So what we're gonna first do is put the cube upside down. Now what you're gonna find, uh, now what you're gonna do is in the top plus, you're gonna find a a, a middle piece which does not have a yellow. So something like this won't work, or something like this would work. So this has a red here, so I'm gonna move it all the way to the red. Since it has a blue on the top, 
we're gonna move it to the green and put it away from the blue. Now, do these following moves. Up, this way, to the right, then down, to the left. And then face the blue and repeat those moves on there, on here. Up, to the left, down. And now, you have that piece which was up, uh, up there, now here. So you're gonna do that with all of them. But for example, if the piece is like in the middle here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna move this up and then you're gonna move this towards you so that you can see it. Then you're gonna put it down. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna face the, this again and you're gonna do what you did to get the corners. Put it away, put this down, put this here and put it back. Now you took it out of there and repeat them. The green's on the top, so put it near the blue so get it away from there. Then up to the right, down to the left. Then up to the right, down. And you got it. So there's one more to do. And that's it. The, you just gotta do them all and that's it, you'll be done. All right, that was the second step. Now let's move on to the third step, which is to get the yellow. Uh, to get the yellow and to do that we have to first get the yellow cross so this is the first possibility and there are two other possibilities the other one is where there's only one and uh, you have to do these following moves until you solve it so this is one of the other possibilities and to get this one proper we have to move this uh, L to the top left and then we have to do these following moves we're gonna put this like this, and we're gonna go up, and then you're gonna go this way, to the left, down, that way. And then now you have the horizontal line. And guys, make sure you're always holding it horizontally and you're never ever holding it vertically, or else it's gonna not work. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna repeat those moves. Up, to the left, down, to the right. Then. And do that move and you'll get the top plus all right so now let's move on to the second part which is to get this aligned with the middle piece and you might have all of these aligned already which is good you're done this step um or you might have none of aligned. if you have none of these aligned do this step from anywhere but if you have two aligned like like now like this, do this. Put one of them at the back. Oh yeah, another way is you might have one here and one here. If it's like that, you will do it from anywhere as well. So you move, uh, you put this to the back and you put one to the right. And then uh, you do these following moves. You move this side up and then you turn it once. Then you put this side down. Then you turn it again. Then you put the side up and you put it all the way back. And then all of them should align just like that. All right, those were the first three steps. Now we're gonna move on to the fourth step, which is to get these corners done in the right place. And to do that, we gotta check them. So for example, we're gonna check this one. Here it has a orange, I mean, sorry, green and orange. But here there's a green and red. So that's in the wrong place. And I'm gonna check this one. Uh, red and green that's totally wrong this one in the other hand is correct in the correct place because there's a red and blue and there's a red and blue in here so that's good and this one's also wrong because there's an orange and blue but this one's orange and green so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the correct piece on the top right and we're gonna do these following moves we're gonna move this to the left then we're gonna put the, uh, this side up, and you're gonna move it to the right, put this side up, then move it to the left, put it down, move it to the right, and put it down. Now we're gonna check them all again. This one's wrong because there's a, a green and orange. This one's wrong too because there's a, a orange and blue. And this one's wrong too. So it might not all come uh, in the right place at the first time. You might have to do it again and again. So let's repeat it. To the left, up, to the left, up, to the left, 
down, to the left, down. Oh, look, it's fantastically done. That means they were all in the right place. But there's really the last step, and I'll show you that now. All right, so those were the last and uh, four steps. And now, as you can see, I put these in the correct places. I'm like, last time it got solved by itself. This is orange and blue, orange and blue. This is orange and green, orange and green, and yellow on both of them. Now I'm gonna show you how to get these in the right place like these. So to do that, we have to do these following moves. We gotta move this up, then we have to move it to the left. Then we have to move this side down, move it to the right. And you're gonna keep repeating that again. Big one. Okay, so now with that air in the right place, like this, then we're gonna do it for this side so that it's gonna be done. Remember, up, to the left, down, to the right. Up, to the left, down. Then you don't have to do the to the right again because it's solved. So great job, guys. Hope you got it in the first try or the second try. And yeah.